Hello and welcome. This is Tactical Tuesday. Woo! And uh, we are obviously on Al Basra. And this match is going to be interesting. It is RIP, as usual, on one side. And on the other, we have Op 4, Opposing Forces, or Operational Forces. I actually haven't checked. Honestly, I don't think they... I think they're just Op 4. Then there's Zulu X-Ray Delta, two squads of Zulu X-Ray Delta, and Serranian Vanguard. So, yeah, it's going to be fun. And it looks like the insurgent side is the uh, coalition, I'm going to call them, for the time being. And RIP are running U.S. side here. I will be casting from the insurgent side both rounds. And everyone's made a squad. Yep. So this could be fun. Or it should be fun, to be honest. Uh, I'm taking the ticky with the You always mark. get good matches on this map because there's just... I mean, there's so much close combat. There's so much action. And I'm wondering if I'm just... I'm just going to check to see if... Yeah. Okay. So it's... Actually, if I do that... Does that, yeah, it darkens it nice. That is absolutely perfect. That's what we want because this map is hella bright and we don't want that. So, yeah, uh, let's just quickly have a look just in case you haven't sort of figured out the, uh, the thing here. So it's Alley's first flag refinery. Uh, mosque, suburbs, courtyard to outskirts to village to U.S. airfield, uh, which is basically the, the cap uh, radius or cap uh, order. And, uh, yeah, it's a quite interesting map. I mean, the whole... I actually featured a, a video about this a while ago where you sort of... If you do things right, you can sort of hold off the U.S. side from actually entering the city in the early game and that's going to benefit you just because they're well they're not where they want to be and also they have to move through the open so here we see uh, basically the coalition moving out and they're going it looks like straight for outskirts most of them three technicals pushing out and that is absolutely the uh, smart choice here and RIP uh, doesn't look like they're going to be rushing Refinery, which was the meta for a while, but just it's just stopped. Ooh, wow, wow, wait, they're doing something different. There is something different happening here, and they only have basically one squad. And let's just quickly zoom down and see who it is. So it's Zulu X Ray Delta, only squad here oh, on outskirts, and I got four guys. Copy. Okay, and his rally got blocked. That's bad news. And they are basically going refinery via this alley. I think they were expecting a rush that just doesn't doesn't come here. Yeah, they're all lined up for a rush, and there's nothing happening here. Uh, the rush is sort of, in my experience, the rush has kind of gone out of the meta just because um, it's so tricky. Like, if you... It's not a very easy push to do, and you have to be super, super quick, and, and even, like, insurgents have to be a little bit slow, but All this, right so far, this rush, Got however, on courtyard works way, way better, and Take you can actually manage that, Take unless it's counter-rushed, uh, you will always get safe inside a building here, and be able to hold off, um, militia for a little bit, and here we go, U.S. side, yeah, they basically got village, no problem. And they are on the north side of outskirts, not really pushing in yet. I think they just wanted to establish that bridgehead, uh, making sure their uh, buddies have a safe place to sort of land and attack from, which is fine. Ooh, and they've also RIP here with uh, some fancy strats. They've also pushed in right here, holding a very, very central building, placing snipers on top. And... This is just impossible to read. Maybe if I turn off that. Nope. Still nothing. That looks kind of like Kirby, but... No, it's Jordy. Yeah, it's Jordy. There we go. 
Okay, so, wow. Right now, RIP permeating the city. They're just all over the place. Like, they're all over, uh... Ooh, and this Lodgy taking hits, but... I think it's... I think it's gonna survive, yep. And there goes a fob supplied for, uh... Courtyard here. So that's gonna be a hard take for, uh, insurgents. They're still holding outskirts, but basically they can't capture outskirts before they get courtyard and they've got contacts on mosque yeah but, i mean there's just one guy and it's just a dude from that tower sort of pushing out but they only had one guy on mosque in the first place so zulu x-ray deltas nixon was on mosque got killed and they're now passing. Ooh, and that 50. Lots of hits, no kills. Ooh, but there goes Jordy. And Crunch still here. And what did they destroy there? That was the truck these guys came in on. Actually, it was the Humvee they came in on. Their rally is still there, though. Destroying that would be actually a huge boon. Now... McBaggins coming in for the rescue, the medic here. Oh, and Ghost from Ob4 taking some fire in the open. And it looks like Zulu Extra Delta is just going to push in from the south here and be able to cap Mosque anyway. Uh, it's not going to slow them down over much, but. But Courtyard skill. is the trick here. And U.S. side still don't have a huge amount of pressure there on outskirts. Uh, but I don't think they're really trying too hard. I mean, they're not really trying to cross the road here. I feel like they're still just holding that bridgehead for their buddies. But uh, R.I.P. are spread pretty thin here. And... Like, when the main wave comes in, I feel like... At risk. They pushed in the east. How is Mosk looking? I'm doing what I can to keep this fob in the fight. Alright, so that fob is risky. Let me oh, know yeah, yeah, yeah. They found it, actually. We could do so with this is... On it, but this is bowl, is it? In. That is bowl. Engage and bowl here. Going to meet eventually. Oh, Bull getting sniped though. Where from? Oh, there we go. So it is Professional Runescaper. Is that his name? Which We're is pushing the pub now. Yes, it is. Professional Runescaper. Okay, I'm glad there's some of them too. And here we go. The first little assault they on. First little assault here has happened on courtyard, but nothing, nothing too big. And I feel like they're getting engaged from very, very long distance. And uh, still, I mean, the pressure is mounting. RIP holding on the north side still, not really trying to engage this flag. And uh, they should have mosque any second. For the insurgents and after that it's suburbs then courtyard and that's when we're going to see the big engagements here uh because right now oh actually looks like we've seen fault for now reinforcements coming in here for this uh small patrol on the north by rip uh and it's actually rigo mark egoist Edwin. holy crap bernie and naja and they're getting support here by Young Ho, Black Panther, and Nacht, as well as Panzer, Panzer Shrek. Okay. So right now it looks like, yeah, and they're just coming in like for free basically. On the east side here, I think Terry was shooting at him a little, but Terry's now dead. And they're going to clash with Zulu X-Ray Delta right here. It's Johnny 252. 
soon going to uh, be able to engage Nacht here. I don't know if there, there is a... Uh, no, there isn't. There's no doors, so he's safe for the time being, and he's actually going to come up on his flank. Panzerschreck here engaging. Oh, and he takes him out. And what are they building in here? They are building the hab. And this is looking like it could be uh, kind of tricky, but no, it'll be fine. All right, so that's a pretty decent hab right there on outskirts. And as soon as that thing pops up for real, this this flag is just over and done with. And suburbs going to be capped very, very soon. Mosque already capped. Uh, and it looks like insurgents are moving into suburbs right now. And they need to, basically, they need to have courtyard before they lose outskirts. The FOB is safe. And where is their hab? The hab is right there. Be so we've got a very, very... From courtyard towards you, squad four. Marking on map. Oh, Jeff will, as well as McBaggins. So basically, the guys who were at Mosque now pushing this FOB here. Uh, it is well guarded, though. So I don't think they're going to have much luck. But uh, I think RIP might just make this with sheer numbers because of this hab right here. Yeah, 50% capped, but holding. Ooh, nice grenade there. That's blast on my AK, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Oh, and he's super duper close. Just move. Oh, if he if he would go into that building, he would know what's up. Man, some IEDs blowing here. Oh, come on. Actually, okay, you're gonna get blast on my AK up. No, you're not. Yes, he is. It's rise wind, and now going down. Jesus Christ, that guy showed up at the right time for RIP because their hab is still uh, undetected. There is no uh, great sense of alarm for the... And wow, this guy somehow alive on the FOB. But I mean, I'm sure there is someone... There is someone somewhere with an RPG just waiting for this FOB to become uh, contested. Or a GL. Oh, there we go. And a grenade, just to make sure. There we go. So, yeah, they were prepared for that. That's why the FOB was in the open. It is a very common strategy just to no longer hide your FOBs. And it's looking like US side should be capping outskirts soon. They will still have a lot of contact there, as well as that have. Ooh. Piano fights going down to Adele here. So insurgents captured suburbs. Now the courtyard push should start for Ernest. And with just one squad there, that's going to be really, really tricky for them. And let's just have a quick look at sort of the organization here by RIP. It's looking like they have some sort of uh, some stuff going on somewhere here. Well, they've set up mortars. I'm sure there's vehicle repair stations somewhere. So they're setting up their mortars right now. Uh, mortars are decent enough on this map, but the problem sort of with them is that for the US side the supply lines are super duper long insurgents have no problem using mortars here but alright so yeah insurgents still holding on outskirts and the FOB yeah still holding on the FOB as well really well done and now this huge huge wave of insurgent forces from the coalition of Op4, Zulu, X-Ray, Delta, and uh, who are the uh, Serenium Vanguard, of course, uh, are coming in and just going to smash the against this RIP force on uh, on yeah, courtyard here. And can they I'm withstand it? Planet Gong, Frog, uh, Ibu Pro Phoenix, is it? Yep. Aiko already dead. 
And Jeff will also down. Not many people left alive here. Ibuprofen and Planagong, really. Yeah, it's only them. And, and, yep, and they are capping right now. Oh, Lee here. Nearly killing Planet. There he goes. There goes Planet. Now the Hab is being camped. RIP now in big trouble on Courtyard already. Ibupro Phoenix, last man standing. And really the only guy who's going to make it here alive because they are now camping that Hab. Enemy Hab going down on Courtyard. The Hab is going down. And right now, but look at this on outskirts. RIP have the enemy or have the insurgents extremely localized. It is sort of the precursor to uh, being defeated is just having, not being able to spread out properly because it's going to cost you in the end. You'll be much more vulnerable to uh, all kinds of explosives as well as the enemy just encircling you and shooting you. Uh, you will basically be putting yourself in an... Uh, in an enfilade or in, in a line making it much much easier to spot and kill you so I right now sense. yeah right now they are capping outskirts outskirts should be capped very very soon but so is courtyard so we're stabilizing into sort of a a normal a normal scenario for this map with the u.s side they holding village outskirts and having to fight hard for all the other flags uh, if they even make it that far uh, just this yeah, outskirts. Yeah. Ooh, that had to get someone. No. I don't think Piano Fights is uh, very happy about the situation, though, but. Grown v. West, squad one, watch yourself. Oh, and now U.S. Mortars coming in. I think they're trying to aim, aim themselves in on this hab right here. But look at all these RAP bodies around this hab. And that was a grenade thrown in here by Peanut. He's shooting at those bodies. And I have to admit they do look very suspicious. Oh, oh my god. Gets taken out there by Johnny. 252. Takes out David. Do it, do it. All right. So right now, reinforcements should be coming in for outskirts here. But look at this bowl, as well as Winsky and uh, is that Trixie? It is not Trixie. It is Jordy. It's Jordy yet again. Can't get his name right today. And they are basically just holding in and around this FOB here. And it looks like, how are they coming from over here? I guess RAP have a, a rally point over there. And now they've sort of taken out this this hab here. And, and they're probably just going to dig it down all the way to sticks. And then this FOB can be there as much as it likes. So we are stabilizing. Let's quickly have a look at the map. Can someone place a top somewhere on that location or go to the southeast? So right now, you see sort of the insurgents localized around this area. They want to drop this. Yeah. They want to drop basically a support fob for suburbs because they're going to lose their only fob. Well, not lose it, but it's going to be pointless. Their only fob on uh, outskirts. Right now, it's pointless, right? They've dug it down. Uh, they're still holding the fob area, but RIP know where it is. So it's not going to last too long as soon as this... Huge force to decides north. to push into Try this to building, uh, unless supported. And here comes the uh, cavalry, basically. But they do need an FOB right now. So let's quickly have a look at the tickets. And it is 407 to 400. So insurgents now, after all this hubbub, have a seven-ticket lead. Yep, that's what it looks like—a seven-ticket lead, uh, but are down. Uh, nearly 50 tickets and kills and uh, I don't know how much material they've lost probably not too much especially since their vehicles are very very cheap and honestly I haven't seen any US vehicles well actually I did see that Humvee there go and that's six tickets so it's honestly not too much either 
All right, so RIP now. Super duper safe on outskirts, holding it well. Still not a major force here, and they didn't actually. They didn't Outskirts. actually dig it all the way down to just sticks in the ground. That's fine. They left it a little bit up. We can place another fob. We'll we'll do what we can to hold. Those and they're now this searching this building. And they've found the FOB. All right, so basically this whole force came here. That's 20 tech. So this FOB is going to go down. They're going to have to need to rebuild and rearm. And right now, RIP are coming in from the south. I imagine they have an FOB down there. There has been an FOB marked here by Squad 1. Let's just quickly check... The usual locations. Nope. And then the most usual one. Nope. So, my guess is if there is a fob, it's going to be over here by all these RIP members. Let's actually not do because that's confusing as hell, isn't it? So, there should be an FOB hab or something somewhere around here. But RIP could have dropped it in a building literally anywhere is where it could be. This could also be just a force that has been dropped off by that truck that's driving right there, for example. But RIP now mounting a force coming in from the south. Uh, the guys on outskirts now pushing south and towards this FOB that they've now probably taken down. Yep, the FOB is down. And we him if all the scout outskirts. Yeah, Esmon taking out piano fights there. Uh, let's see. So this force is going to be pushing in to outskirts. And outskirts, honestly, not that well defended as well. There is a ooh, nice grenade there by Bernie. Nice. We got the enemy fob. Suck on the. Oh wow! And going just outside, getting that down. little bit of extra cover. Respawning okay, so they got right. the enemy FOB, which I assume was up here. So let's just make sure quickly that. They actually did get it. Yeah, they did. There's no hab in there. Wow, really nice. Really nice little flank there. Three-man group. Just taking them out. And Oily... Will Oily go down? He has been spotted here. And it's Panzerschreck, isn't it? Yeah, it's super hard to read the names here, guys. I just apologize. Yeah, it is definitely okay, Panzer Strike, though. Okay, so let's quickly have a look. Very, very few defenders actually on uh, on Courtyard here. And with this group pushing up from the south, it is Echo Frog, Ipipro Phoenix. It's yeah, basically the group that was originally holding Courtyard. Pushing up from the south. And there's even more U.S. troops down here. Like, where are these guys coming from? That's what I'm wondering about. So Baby James now going up against Mobius. Oh, throwing the grenade in. And Mobius doesn't realize it goes down. So there is some kind of spawn point down here. But, yep, I don't know where. But it's, it's yeah, RIP definitely have some kind of spawn point down here. So let's quickly have a look. Courtyard now getting pushed into Aiko here. And is going to go up against Roadkill here very, very soon. I think Roadkill... Yeah, his spider sense was tingling. And he went to check it out. And now this sort of this assault has been spotted. Oh, and there goes the hab. So now the FOB much, much closer than I originally thought. It's most likely... Somewhere directly south of us here. On my way back. I ult off uh, the drive to the south here. I'm falling back to uh, courtyard. <laughs> yeah. We'll figure out where it is later. It doesn't matter. So. Another IED going off. 
And this Suburbs attack towards outskirts here. Sort of fizzling. There is a huge wave coming in just due uh, east right now, though. It is Zulu X3 Delta pushing in. They do have a lot of... Uh, a lot of RIP members to push through though. Wow, look at this. McBaggins and Peanut going down. To blast on my AK. And him nearly getting taken out by Bernie there as he just managed to uh, push around the corner. Fiel and Aiko only. Oh, actually, Raigo as well. I'm getting fucked in the west of the courtyard. Have going up, guys. Have going up in uh, defense. How's it looking in courtyard? Are we still holding? Angus taken out by Fjellner and uh, courtyard actually shouldn't be holding right now. Right now it should be capping. We're uh, very low on bomb courtyard at the moment. So they need uh, basically these guys across the road. Copy. They need to push We're in. We're pushing in on outskirts in two. All right, so they're coming in now. Outskirts should be fine with that. Uh, however, there is a second uh, squad, it looks like. It, yeah, I mean, at least half a squad. RIP, they divide up into yeah, all so sorts of ways. Work. So I just have no good way of... Uh, Enemy have marked on the... Sorry, ...of knowing how many squads are there. But right now, this cap should be uh, stopping just because of the number of insurgents pushing into... Uh, courtyard there and here we go insurgents pushing across oh wow getting both of them I think they were bandaging most likely they just had a rocket attack there and right now it looks like outskirts is clear they have a few guys just south of it but outskirts itself is clear and all it needs is more insurgents pushing in there and uh, RIP is going to be in big, big trouble, I think. I think they might have overinvested slightly on Courtyard. Either that, or they have a lot of guys who just haven't had a good place to spawn right now. Uh, it might just be that they are down to that one hab after that fob in the north uh, went down. Oh, and there he finally goes down to Chewy there. This guy. D. Well, Devil. But it's Deville. Uh, so this guy's been wrecking havoc. I'm quite sure he's spotted the hab. And yeah, it is marked on map. Hang on, let me just do this. So other people can see too. It is marked on map. So right now, outskirts. Yeah, I'm currently alone on it. Looking real good. To get my guys they over. did get support right okay, now, and here we clear. go. Cheap New hab is already up. It looks like. Yeah, try, try to hit them yeah to it is. The of you. And this is a. They're coming in from southwest of outskirts. It's extremely curious positioning here. <laughs> Enemy southwest. This is actually, uh, yeah. I wonder if you can go. Oh, you have to... It's one of the crawlers. God damn, I hate those. So, yeah, that's a non-ideal hab. And if it ever gets spotted, it's going to go down immediately. Like, okay, they do have vehicle support for it. But, I mean, it's... If it's, like, basically this hab is useless as soon as someone is here. We're going to need help. On you could just shoot too. whoever wants to come out of that thing. I don't think you can sort of get out. No... And no. So yeah, there is one exit and only one exit, and that's here. So it's extremely easy to just prevent this hab from being useful. And right now, extra forces coming in for outskirts, and this looks like it's not going to last very long for RIP unless they send in major reinforcements. And the problem is major reinforcements and that FOB placement right there, or hab placement, does not does not compute. 
Mugaga now, all alone in the corner. Oh, and gets taken now by Esmon. McBaggins, though. Takes out Blast on my AK, who was left in a terrible position job, there. No choice but to die. Now. They found nice. the hab on outskirts. Okay, so... What? Wait, they found the hab? Oh, they did! Terry's on the hab! And is now dead. I'm wondering how... Oh, yeah. Okay, so this vehicle right here is securing this hab. But, I mean, like I said... There is no good way out of this hab. There is only one bad way. Are we getting outskirts? Actually, you might be able to go through this window, but either way, you're not really, this, um... This needs to happen we are still capping. Yeah, you're not really all that safe. So here we go. Outskirts should be capping right now. No, oh, actually no. But it's very, very close to capping. There's four... RIP members on it right now and three so yeah a few kills and a little bit of magic outskirts should be capping for the insurgents oh actually RIP dedicating a lot of forces to it now even more guys coming in yeah they just defended outskirts and they are also quite solid here on courtyard yep Pretty much a full Copy. squad, all alive, on courtyard. Let's quickly have a look at the tickets. Oh, 293 to 286 right now. So, uh, yeah, pretty much the same ticket disparity. Seven ticket disparity. And a 80 ticket uh, kill difference. Well, it's 75, right? But it's, it's, it's close enough. So right now, ooh, but look at this huge, huge force of insurgents now squeezing out the remaining RIP members out of outskirts. And they're going to start capping if they're careful and stay alive because RIP right now, oh, they're definitely capping outskirts just on sheer numbers. And this striker, what are you aiming for? I think he's just aiming down the street. He's got a little lookout. Very, very smart with these vehicles, making sure you don't get flanked from anywhere. So it's Demon Hun and Aspen. Demon Hun and Aspen there on vehicle patrol. I'm just quickly going to see who's on mortars as well. Credit where credit is due. It is Gonorrhea. Gonorrhea and Bass 21. Yeah, we're struggling to get in, mate. We're getting fucking cut down by those vehicles. We need to get through the top somehow. Alright, so, so let's Try see. Are they covering main? Yeah, it's they are. Five seconds but this thing the is the dead. Right. Looked like it flipped. Could have exploded, to be honest. With you. But right now, yeah, but I think main is fine. There's nothing covering main and uh, sort of the approach as far as I can see. However, wow. Courtyard here looking like RIP should be capping. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, definitely capping. There are only one. So there's one insurgent on flag right now. These guys need to make it over and stop this cap immediately giving their brothers in the north a little bit of a reprieve, a little bit of a bigger chance to, uh, to keep capping outskirts. This is a really, really tough fight right here. And it's back and forth, back and forth. And right now, I would, yeah, I would... <laughs> Insurgents now neutralizing outskirts. So outskirts is neutral. But the U.S. side, I think, outskirts. yeah, now capping outskirts again. Wow, this is super duper close. U.S. side appears to have uh, changed tax a little bit. Now getting into this uh, multi-story building and, and preparing to, uh, oh, and U.S. now neutralizing courtyard. So it's a double neutral situation. 
but insurgents I'm guessing could they have be a fob getting this. And one fob north. A fob a gas Go station and one fob north. They do have an FOB, but not yeah, it could be gas station to be honest, but I think Copy. it is more likely that it's just somewhere in the open around these vehicles. I would I would place it somewhere here because that thing can cover it for days. But yeah. God knows. So yeah, they have a, a hab there, but no FOB. Wow, and a lot of lot of dead people here. Yeah, it's these guys up here in the tower just uh, providing devastating suppressive fire. And I do believe Zulu X-Ray Delta are going to have to do something about this. Panzer Shrek here. We're losing Shrek him with some Panzer. Can you retake more? Or do you need us? We're capping courtyard at the moment. All right. So courtyard now going to be recaptured. Outskirts looking bad just because of this, but is oily is oily trying to make his way up. He is, and Young Ho is in a different building. Uh, yep. So here we go. Are they losing the FOB? Nah. I thought I heard them say losing FOB. We still taking No, they're not. All right. So they just oh, they just took down the FOB. Okay, oh, so they took the southern FOB. That's going to leave RIP at 202 tickets with insurgents now 248. Uh, having actually, well, they've anyway, slightly we closed the kill the disparity. I feel like, like they're. Uh, no, they haven't. No, mate, it's it's basically no. still 2 to 1 for RIP right here. Enemy fob down, we're making a fresh we're still but it's 247 to 199, no. and this is that ticket bleed kicking in here, I think. It uh, sort of feels a little bit like that because they've been pretty even in RIP even winning on kills as much as they have it. 100 tickets on kills and them still being uh, still being down uh, on tickets. But look at this. Something strange in the neighborhood. Squad leader one. The all right, why is this thing smoking and it's all the way up north? I'm wondering if there's... Uh, some fishiness happening at the bridges, but I am apparently dead wrong. Insurgent forces just captured courtyard back. Yeah, there's nothing happening. I that must have just not been repaired since last time. Either that, or he drove through the water, took some damage. God knows. Another IED going off. All right, I'm putting down a fob. And this guy's going to need hearing aids for the rest of his life. All right, so now sort of a second wave. Yeah, yeah U.S. Army start. capturing outskirts, securing this position. And now the second wave of attack is coming in. Uh, but I do feel like militia came, or sorry, insurgents came out of this thing ahead. Uh, just because, uh, well, 40 tickets, right? This situation has benefited them. They, they got the FOB. That's 20 tickets. They have the bleed going on. And the fact that uh, the U.S. side, RIP, can't advance is costing them right now. They, they can't seem to properly break through. I feel like... Um, yeah. I couldn't tell you what's, what's wrong. Like... They might have uh, they might have too much locked up into these vehicles, uh, and they're not really they're not pulling enough weight to justify having as many people in the vehicles here. Maybe even the mortars. I honestly don't know because they're winning on kills by two to one. So every one person they have I got to do an is sort of two insurgents, and the insurgents are still getting them. Maybe it's because of this. Uh, Slightly poor hab placement here. Hab now. I'm gonna place a hab real, real soon. Just like that. Yeah, you guys need to lie down. You need to dig that thing. And you need to find this FOB. The striker is gonna keep trying to target you. 
But right now, if this half goes down, that's going to be devastating for RIP, especially on their hold here. They're getting attacked pretty hard right now. I don't know exactly where the FOB is, but like I said, I assume it's somewhere in the open. Uh, especially with this striker here defending it. Striker now pulling back slightly with infantry this close. Really, really well played there. It's very subtle, but it's like, okay, they had infantry within, I don't know how far this was, and they just pull back. Make it a little bit harder with those, uh... Oh, frog going down. That grenade. What the... Last on my AK, realizing. Oh my god. And there we go. In the nick of time. Are they actually going to remove that thing entirely? No, they're jigging it down. All... No, he might actually look like he's going to remove the entire thing. I'm unsure if that's the right move because now, without you, like, you don't know where the FOB is. There we go. It's all the way gone. I'm trying. So if you and you've taken out the enemy hub on outskirts. So they, yep, they've taken it all the way out. Out to everyone. And this guy has changed positions. Oh. There's the fob. So we found the US fob. It's actually not in the open, but it might as well have been for that position. All right, so let's quickly have a look. Now, the new FOB and HAB are there, but they're already being assaulted quite hard here. RIP, I think, are wise to the positions. The, yeah, Planet Gong here around the corner. Right, so now huge insurgent wave coming in here, but they need to clear out this building. There's just, it's going to be incredibly hard pushing from that angle and into outskirts with enemies in that building there. And just look at Tom Day 27 there getting wasted. And a lot of insurgents just dead outside the doors here as well. I feel like this is well defended by the US side. Planet Gong now all on his own. Does a little reload. Peanut as well. Kills MG. Moves ahead. Planet Gong on his heels. They've got a lot of support from the buildings up there as well as uh, the thing in the distance there. That Humvee, the, the crow. Peanut now into the building. Is courtyard still secure? Oh, and this is grenade territory right here. One grenade next to this fence, and you've got four kills. And this FOB now having been spotted by RIP. Actually, no, it's definitely making noise. So, yeah, there's no doubt that uh, RIP know about this FOB and this hab, and they're going to keep pressure on that area for as long as possible. Uh, right now, outskirts relatively clear, but I feel like it doesn't. You don't really need people Maybe on it. I do realize they on actually server, have three up. guys on flag, though. It is Aiko, a few other guys. Just gone past our fob. Might drop people off. I think yeah. it did, yeah. I'm not in the oh, it definitely to did. So, yeah, they're going to keep pressure on that FOB, and uh, that's going to make. The coalition unable to attack outskirts right now just because they have to defend their FOB. And uh, courtyard seems super duper clear. There are enemies actually attacking the FOB right here on, uh, on the suburbs. Well, they're not attacking the FOB, but they are going for the HAB right now. And Mark digging the HAB. Actually, Mark defending the area. Wow, who was that? Emvin. So they're just going to dig that. Lee spawning in, killing him. 
and Coming Mark. Up. And now this. Oh, but Envin coming in. Kills Lee. SAS though. Oh, gets him. So this is once again spawnable, but it is detected. Fortunately, the FOB is quite far away. But. Naja. Knows. Naja knows, and Naja is quite safe just digging this FOB down. And I doubt anyone's going to make it over there, especially now with Raigo and everyone else coming in. They're on the FOB as well. Can't They're on the FOB. FOB as well. Yep, there you go. So right now, Courtyard going to be more and more exposed. Yeah, we can't save that FOB. And the FOB. Okay, Copy. so... But the ticket difference... Yeah, right the FOB is down, so now it's at 174 to 134. So now we're back at a 40 ticket difference, but it, for a while it was uh, a 60 ticket difference. So I would say right now I favor insurgents quite heavily. I mean, they're not winning extremely decisively, but they are winning. And uh, that's really all that counts in this game. So, uh, yeah, right now. Insurgents are looking good. They're even making their way into outskirts here, e despite this FOB being so heavily, heavily contested. McBaggins, as well as right here, he's going to clash right now. Who the hell is this? That is Foxhound. Yeah, Foxhound. Oh, what the. <laughs> All right, that was pretty hilarious. Okay, so <laughs> I think what happened there is none of them saw each other, and then suddenly Fox or McBaggins saw Foxhound, and it was just, uh, yeah, it was uh, Fox season, I guess. So that was quite interesting right there. I don't think I've ever seen that before. So okay, so now they have three guys alive on flag. It's Three guys, no cap makes, unless the flag is empty. And right now, there are like five or six RAP members on or very, very close to flag. And uh, Mortar still going out on Courtyard. They are forcing, uh, I guess, like if anything, the Mortars are forcing... Uh, Roger. Yeah, the Mortars are forcing sort of insurgents into the buildings, but... We need to get that Logi. Mosque. Yeah, losing this fob on the north is actually quite bad. I would. Well, they they We're don't know they're first. winning by. Uh, now it's looking like yeah, still 40, 43 though, though. But like they can't know their win is as clutch as it is. But right now this FOB worth of tickets is just wow. And Jordy going down. This crow now doing work. Putting uh, lead into this building. Let's just quickly see. Lost my rally. And this is Buckles. Buckles the gunner. Yeah. And a lot of bodies right now. Let's look at the kill disparity again. So now actually dig up the fog evening out the slightly. I would say RIP is... Uh, yeah, they're way below where they were. Yep. And yep. So, uh, well, basically, it's not a two to one anymore. It's just a hundred ticket lead or a hundred kill lead, uh, which is not exactly where they used to be. Now, this striker, very, very daring, moving in closer and closer. I do feel like this road should be sort of confirmed safe, though. Uh, Obviously, we know it is, but there can't be any mines on it because the insurgents never really held outskirts hard enough for long enough to sort of be able to to, uh, to have a clear road and, and just sit down and, and uh, place mines. And wow, look at all these bodies and crunch here holding down the hab. Yeah. And I don't think they should keep spawning here. Crunch having killed... David Frankie, one more. Possibly a few just getting in here. 
And Insurgents right now, removing their own FOB. Exactly. Super duper smart. But it's going to be incredibly like they... Oh, and that is... Oh, and they managed! They managed! Yeah, we're down. No, they didn't. They didn't. That looks like it was a pro proximity uh, removal there. Because they lost 20 tickets. That was super duper close. Wow. And now insurgents managing to clear out this building. Shall I remove that fob I put down? I'm getting fucked in the courtyard. I need help ASAP. Oh my god. And this could be the moment where RIP turns it around. And these mortars are perfect. They're blocking that entrance. And... But, I mean, there's still insurgent presence here. Ooh, Mobius having been spotted through that window there. By uh, Aspen and... Um, oh, man, I gotta get your name now. Uh, by Aspen and... Demon Hunt, obviously. Yep. So, wow. Really, really nice uh, spotting skills. They're seeing Mobius and just firing at the building there. Just making sure Winsky inside. And he's just holding the stairs. Mortar's going off. And no one can pass that area. Chewy. Holding on the side here. So right now they should be capping. No, they should not. Mobius and Mobius alone is preventing this cap right now. Actually, no. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Holy shit. Okay, so they are now FOB-less, spawnless, and this bridge is being held by Bowl, Egoisten, and Rigo. This is looking, as well as Emwin, so this is looking like it could be very, very, very bad for Insurgents. Wow, nice job there, Chewy. Killing that sniper. That's dogs from Op4. Yep, and Courtyard's going to go, and there goes their lead as well. No longer a 40-ticket difference, or even a 60-ticket difference, which they did have for a while. Now it's looking more like a 12-ticket difference, and that is going to vanish as soon as Courtyard gets capped. Uh, and it's Insurgents are looking like the they're far, far away moment. from where yeah, they need to be. Down. Like They can cross that bridge all they like. All right. Ooh, wow, but look at this. Oh, this could be devastating. This is Demon Hun and Aspen here setting up to deny them this bridge. They must have been warned. They must have been told. They're not looking the right way, so I guess I'm wrong. There we go. Now looking the right way. And opening fire. And this is going to be devastating down here. There's just no way. Yeah, it gets four kills right off the bat. Oily, can you get that hub, mate? Yeah. Uh, gonna be the rocket's shortly. going just way, yeah, way off you. target. And smoke's going down. Oh, this is devastating for insurgents if they can't. And courtyard now neutral. Yeah, here we go. And now we're back up to normal RIP style here. Two to one kill death ratio. Wow, and they're already on uh, suburbs as well. Can just securing that, they know. They basically know what kind of huge advantage they've managed yeah, to I muster know, mate, right I now. To do it. At the same but time. I mean, it's not going to be a huge win for the US side in any case, but I mean, uh, wow, pulling this one out of their hat, that's very, very impressive from RIP there. Looking like they were going to lose for a very, very long time.
Yep, and now they're just now it's classic classic steamroll style. The only difference is I think insurgents. Nope, they haven't really pulled back to uh, to mosque, and I imagine. Uh, it's gonna take a while. Yeah, I am not sure if the guys sort of on courtyard here are going to. Ooh, and this Humvee. One more hit on this Humvee and it goes down, and that's actually 12 tickets. There we go. That's 12 tickets. So even smaller win right now, and I mean, it's not a win yet. Yeah, it abandons it. That's very, very smart. Because two hits on a Humvee and there's no saving it. Unless you park it right next to a repair station right away, there's just no way. And now we're down to 63, 82. So once again, building up towards a 1920 uh, ticket lead here, uh, but Ooh, wait, did this thing just get hit? Sounded like it was close, but no, I think it'd be burning if it did get hit. They have moved slightly safer though, making sure they don't get flanked, but really, really nice. Uh, work here just for RIP just to cover all them bridges. Oh, and a miss. And uh, there is a limit to how many rockets they do have. And right now, RIP are everywhere they need to be. And insurgents have squads that are not very useful right now. And it's looking like 50 tickets. So that's just the capture of courtyard. And suburbs are going to come on the heels of that. And they should be capping right now. One, two Boy, versus one. Two. Oh, now actually, it is close. Copy. It is close. McBaggins needs to get in there. RIP need like three more people, and they should be capping that. Yeah, especially now losing a couple. Adele, though, going down heavy handed. Only man left. Opens fire. I think he just took yeah. out Planet Gong. And they are rushing the wrong building. Oh, but heavy handed goes down. I think that was Peanut. Yeah, that was Peanut shooting single fire for once. Right. Nice job. Squad one, could you get the fob down? So there we go. Now this flag definitely no, capping here for RIP. And uh they yeah, should be leapfrogging the towards the Mosk spot. already. They do have a couple guys here and we there. Alright, so it is 68 to 33 oh, now. Somewhere there. I'll and uh, yeah, I'll yeah it is looking just, very, very I'm grim sure for insurgents. Going. They're feeling the pressure right now uh, of this yeah, sort of the mate, crumbling mate. position. And I mean, going down? suburbs is definitely going down. And once it caps, uh, that's RIP for the win. Like you don't have mate. enough tickets to take to take that loss. And right now, RIP are everywhere they need to be, and insurgents are having a hell of a lot of trouble uh, mustering any kind of manpower in a specific location. Basically, they lost all their FOBs and HABs, and were forced to cross the bridge, and, and due to extremely good fortune, as well as really well... Well, really good play. RIP managing to cover this bridge at the right time, and and insurgents uh, communicated and said, "Hey, this bridge is being covered. We're gonna cover this, or we're gonna cross this other bridge." Huge force moving towards that area, and RIP managing at the perfect moment to get a striker up on this road and just mowing everyone down and denying. And that was just. Mortar team is down more than just the kills it was the delaying of this huge huge force uh, just getting anywhere just open up the entire map for them and they leapfrogged and are well if if insurgents had more tickets to give they'd be way more tickets ahead but there's uh yep yeah. 
this flag will be it. 29 and seconds from the end. They're not actually on the fob yet, mate. You gotta have that be sweet. Really well Fob's played up, here, uh, Insurgents. Uh, and RIP. Copy. For Copy. holding out, this has in been a, a very, a very nice right, match, yeah, and nearly one hour long. Yeah, they're gonna get suburban away, mate, I think. And that is I exactly right. Up, but it's gonna be really risky. Twenty-nine tickets. Want to take suburbs that drops. And that's gonna be any second. So RIP. I mean, they tried to push a little north, and I feel like that's sort of where, yeah, uh, that's where Squad 1 sort of tried to push down from Refinery. I think they actually made it, uh, went through uh, alleys here and came up uh, this way, which was a smart move. There you go. So 72. Nice try. 72 tickets. Pretty close. Yeah, that was pretty yeah, close, especially so since yeah. they gained 15 tickets from that last capture. So theoretically... Uh, well, before before Insurgents lost, RIP had uh, 57 tickets, but still 72. That's a really nice win there for RIP, and it's going to be fun to see if round two uh, will uh, give the coalition uh, a new uh, a new fire, and and uh, they will be able to sort of push. RIP back and win by more than 72 tickets and it's, it's going to be interesting to see so stick around uh, goodbye